In this particular problem, we're asked to find out what an investment uh, value would be after a certain number of years. So our, our question says $25,000 invested at 4.5% interest, and we want to find out the amount after 10 years. Now, it says that it's compounded quarterly, so we need to use our formula for compound interest, but the formula for compound interest, we need to focus on the one that is compounded quarterly. And here's what our compound interest formula looks like. Okay, so A is going to be whatever our future value is going to be for our, uh, that's going to be our answer basically for this equation. Uh, P is however much we're going to initially invest. Uh, in this case, it would be our 25,000. Okay, uh, 1 plus R, R is our rate, our rate is 4.5%. N is the number of times that it's compounded. So if it's compounded quarterly, N in this case is going to be 4. It will compound 4 times per year. And then up here we have N again, that's our 4. And T would be our time. Time that would come from 10 years, and it's time in years. Okay, so I take this, and I just want to really just plug everything into our formula that we've got here. Okay, so the first thing is P. That is our initial investment. That's 25000 Okay, and then I'm just going to fill out the rest here. 1 plus R. R is 4.5% now. Remember, we have to convert that to a decimal. So as a decimal, that's going to be 0 0.045. Uh, divided by N, which is 4. All raised to the N times T. Okay, so N is 4 and T is 10. So it should look something like this. Okay, 0 0.045. Again, that's our interest rate that we're receiving on it. 4 is the number of times that it is... Uh, compounding in a year, and then 4 times 10. And when you plug it into your calculator, you're going to plug it into your calculator, uh, and it should look just like this. So we'll do that now, 25,000, uh, and then we'll use our parentheses. Notice I'm going to use a parenthesis for this, this fraction portion as well. Divided by 4. I have one close parenthesis, that's for my fraction portion, but I need an additional one to close off this 1 plus 0 0.045 over 4. Then I raise it to the power. Now on the TI-84 Silver Plus Edition, you can just multiply 4 times 10. Uh, if you're using a TI-83 though, you need to make sure to use uh, parentheses 4 times 10. And then just hit enter. It should give you your answer. 39,109.42. Okay, so we're going to plug that one in. And that is indeed our answer there. So it's as simple as once you find the, the components, just plugging it in, and your calculator could do all the heavy lifting for you. But just make sure you plug it in correctly is going to be the big thing. Okay, so now if we wanted to change it up a little bit, this one we're using basically some similar numbers, but we changed a couple things. So we've got 25000 still our initial investment, still 4.5%. This time, though, it's going to be compounded monthly. In other words, 12 times a year. And then they, we're looking for the amount after 30 years instead of 10 years. Okay, so we're still going to use our same formula. Uh, 25,000 is still going to be the same. That's our initial investment. That's our P. 1 plus rate is still going to be the same, 0 0.045. N. N is going to change. This one is compounded monthly, so that's 12 times a year. So our N value is going to be 12. Our N up here as our exponent is going to be 12 times T, which is 30. Okay, so that's where we're... we're we change this number up here and this number, both of these two. And basically we're just plugging this into the calculator to see what it will uh, give us back as an answer. Uh, if you did it correctly, your answer should be uh, $96,192.45.